<laughs> now, last week we brought you the single minded Bradford businessman trying to bring car manufacturing to West Yorkshire. Let's find out what happens when he took his car, fit for a superhero, <laughs> to the big stage. Me, Absol Khan. I'm a car fashion designer. When we last saw him, this eccentric Bradford businessman was on a mission to take the British car industry by storm. What you do is you build a serious little monster with them big knobbly tyres, suspension lowered, and it just looks like it's ready for revolution. Absol's mechanics have built a prototype of this automotive monster. He calls it the Flying Huntsman. His 200 grand Huntsman is based on the Land Rover Defender chassis and his ambition is to see 500 a year roll off the car production line right here in the UK. I'm confident this vehicle will sell. There is nothing like it in the market. But before making his assault on the mass market, Avsel has to prove his prototype is a winner. And that means unveiling the Huntsman at the International Motor Show in Geneva, where Avsel will come head to head with some of the biggest motor manufacturers in the world. And of course, half a million potential customers. Geneva, home of the world's most prestigious car show. Over 200 manufacturers pulling out all the stops to get petrol-loving punters to splash the cash. And Absol's even brought along a six-wheel monster prototype of the Huntsman. Do you like this car? <laughs> I think this is a bit over the top. Uh, it wouldn't be for me. Well, it's fantastic. It's a very uh, original car. And I think that this is maybe for upper-class families who have already four cars in their garage. But if Absol's to launch a production line in the UK, he must use this opportunity to entice buyers with the clout to place some very big orders, just like this car buying agent to the stars. He's got a client that's been here yesterday, had a look at the car, and said, look, I'll have that car. He's actually a well-known, famous person, so we can't see who he's Better or not? No. He's very famous and he, he makes clothes. It's a famous fashion brand. To succeed, Absol has to win over the dreaded trade press here, whose reviews can make or break the hopes of an ambitious motoring mogul. Well, the car business is tough, so making 500 of anything and selling them is going to be tough, but it's a great British story, it's great British engineering behind it, and building them in Bradford is part of the story and part of the appeal. So if anybody's got a chance of selling 500 cars in a niche market, I think Khan has. Building cars is a hugely expensive and risky business. It's going to cost him millions to get a production line up and running. So, is Absol still on a high after Geneva? I've come to his showroom in Bradford to find out. So, Absol, tell me, how did Geneva go? The response was overwhelming. We had lots and lots of people at the stand, trade customers to retailers, thousands of people every single day. Come on, come on, let, let's get real. You're not going to sell 500 cars, are you? 500 cars isn't difficult for us. You've got 200 odd countries around the world, two each. Not all cars. But how are you going to get the perception that this is a proper car manufacturer? This is a, a fully engineered, coach-built vehicle. It's all aluminium, so it's all handmade. Six, seven people working in one car at a time. Is this a pipe dream? Are you really going to set up a production plant? Yeah. How much does it cost? Uh, well, it's going to cost us millions of pounds. You're bored, aren't you? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I'm bored. I'm a single man, and I'm bored. <laughs> I've done it, I've achieved everything, and the last thing that I'd like to do is leave a legacy behind, do something that what I'm, I love and enjoy, and use all that experience and put it onto one platform and show people, look, this is what we can actually do and this is what the British can actually do. Madman or genius? I guess a bit of both. You've got to be a madman to be a genius. There's no denying the Huntsman is British eccentricity at its best, and driving a car and car, it's pretty special too. Let's be honest. You're unlikely to see the Huntsman in the local supermarket car park, but if the reaction from those multi-millionaires back in Geneva is anything to go by, Absol could be bringing some razzmatazz back to Bradford. Maybe not a supermarket, but a super...